Hello and welcome to part 2 of Esri Australia's video tutorial on how to use ArcGIS field maps. In the previous video, we looked at creating and symbolizing feature layers in ArcGIS Online and saving those feature layers to a map, which would become the basis for our field workers when collecting data in the field. We also looked at preparing survey forms similar to Survey123, but in the field maps application with detailed instructions for our data collectors when collecting their data. Today, we'll be looking at the collection process, and I'll be walking you through how to efficiently collect and capture data and observations on your mobile device by recording the location of data sites and completing data input forms. We're going to head over to the mobile device now as I talk you through the process. In the field map application, which is freely available in the App Store, search for the map that we created in the previous video tutorial. This will open the map on your phone, focusing on your current location. Wait for the GPS signal to settle, which is signified by it turning blue. Click on the plus button in the bottom right corner to begin collecting data. On the scrollable form, select Site A. You can take a photo of the site by clicking on the Take Photo icon of the form. Simply point your camera and click. Data collectors could then begin collecting data based on the fields and the forms we prepared earlier in the previous video. This allows data collectors to collect a wide range of data relevant to your fieldwork goals. Simply head through the form, selecting or inputting the data as necessary. In this case, are there visual human disturbances? Yes, there are. So I'm going to add an additional note saying that there is litter in the immediate area and that's probably because there is a public park nearby. It should again be noted that the hard work to prepare the data collection forms was completed in the previous video. Once happy, click on submit in the top right corner. A green tick will appear noting its successful submission. In the event of an error, ArcGIS Field Maps allows data collectors to edit or delete data after it's been collected. Simply click on the relevant data and scroll up on the form. Click on the edit option to make changes to data previously collected. Once you're happy with the changes, click submit once the changes have been made. To delete an item, follow the same process, but select the delete option instead. It will ask you to confirm this choice before the process is complete. Collecting line data is a little bit different to collecting point data. The line data will be mapped to your current GPS location. As you move, the line will move. I'm going to zoom in to show you the process at a closer extent. Click on the add icon to begin and select a type of path. Add a point to begin. As you move, you will notice the line begins to move with you. Each time you change directions on your path, click Add Point. This will help data viewers to see the exact path or route the data collector took. Access the form at the end of the path taken and add any additional data you are required to collect, for instance, litter count. Once you've added your data, Click on the submit button to save the data to the map. Collecting polygon data is a similar process to collecting line data. Once you are happy with your GPS location, click the add icon and select your polygon feature class. Click add point on the form to begin. As you move, you will notice that the polygon moves with you and begins to take shape. Click add point to signify each time you change direction. It may be that you have a specific shape and distance in mind. If so, data collectors may also need to measure their distances with tape measures when creating the polygon. Once you've finished mapping the polygon, add any other data you have been asked to collect, in this case, an animal count. Is there evidence of human disturbance to the area? And if so, describe it. Once you've finished adding the data, click on the Submit button in the top right corner to save these changes. 
Click the More Options button in the top right corner to access additional tools like changing your base map from topographic to satellite imagery. You can also view the legend, or you can add markup to the map in the form of some extra features or notes. Make sure to check out the More Options tool to get the most out of the field maps application. Once you've finished collecting your data in the field, it's time to return to the classroom to view your data in ArcGIS Online and perform further analysis or manipulation according to your objectives. But let's head over to ArcGIS Online now. I've got my map open and I'm going to turn on my collection sites layer. We can see that along the Brisbane River, I have collection sites A, B and C. I can click on any of these collection sites and view all of the data I collected on my data collection forms out in the field. I'm going to turn off my collection sites layer. I'm actually going to turn on a layer that I just added, water turbidity. You'll notice that those three sites are still there, but instead of showing the collection site itself, it's favoring the, the water turbidity layer here, partially cloudy. So if I head over to legend, I can actually see what those colours mean. And along the Brisbane River, earlier in the Brisbane River's water flow, we see that it's partially clear with fewer particles in the water. However, where the Brisbane River intersects with the city district, we have a very cloudy uh, turbidity where the water is deep brown with significant particles. And as we move up to the mouth of the Brisbane River, we notice that it gets partially clearer again with fewer particles in the water likely to, due to the incoming and outgoing tides. If I go back to content and turn my water turbidity layer off and turn my visual human disturbances layer on, I can see those three points again, but I'm gonna to navigate to legend. And earlier in the Brisbane River, we see that there's actually no visual human disturbance to the area. However, as the Brisbane River winds through the residential and city districts, we can see that there's, that there's a significant commercial disturbance. As the Brisbane River continues to flow out to the mouth and out to the port, we see significant industrial uh, presence as factories line the side of the river here, and this is the port of Brisbane itself. So you can do this simply by hovering over your original collection sites layer, clicking on the More Options button and copying that layer. Then you rename the layer to the data you want it to display. For instance, water turbidity. And I'm gonna just show you with the water turbidity layer here. But I hover over that layer and I change style and I make sure that the attribute being shown is the water turbidity attribute. So I select that and then I can create a legend like I have here by selecting options and making those changes. Once I'm ha happy with those changes, I simply have to click Done to lock them in. All I need to do now is save my map to save those changes that I have made. And that brings us to an end of today's video tutorial on how to use ArcGIS field maps. If at any time you need a little bit of extra support, feel free to reach out to our education team by emailing education at esriaustralia.com.au and we'll be more than happy to assist.